Kubernetes on NVIDIA GPUs. Kubernetes on NVIDIA GPUs. Kubernetes on NVIDIA GPUs is going to bring so much joy. So much joy. <laughs> there are people watching this out on the web going, that guy's lost it. <laughs> that brings joy? Wow. Yes, this is going to bring joy. And this is going to bring joy because Kubernetes is, allows us to take these massive workloads that are servicing billions of people, and it's an orchestration layer that orchestrates the workload that's coming in from the cloud and orchestrated across the resources of the hyperscale data center. Lots of CPUs and lots of memories, lots of networking, lots of storage, and needs to orchestrate it across the sea of servers. And today, it is GPU aware, and it's GPU accelerated. So G Kubernetes is now GPU aware. The Docker container is now GPU accelerated. You've got all of the frameworks that I talked about, which is GPU accelerated. And now you got all these inferencing workloads that are now GPU accelerated. And you've got NVIDIA GPUs and all these clouds. And NVIDIA GPUs and all these data centers and servers. And you've got this incredible, wonderful orchestration layer system software called Kubernetes. Life is complete. Okay, let me show it to you. Guys, Justin. This is Justin. Justin is, of course, you guys have seen this flowers before. Now, we're going to do the flowers a little bit differently today. So this is, this is flowers, of course, running on, on CPUs, four, four images per second, and the fastest uh, Skylake that we have. And um, so, Justin, take it away, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, Ryan, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's Ryan. Yeah, Justin's I was wondering if we're going to switch it up, but Justin guys got are, Yeah, yeah, no, no. got no, nervous. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not me. <laughs> Absolutely. So as you said, like, uh, TensorRT and inference performance, we've laid out the value for it right here. Uh, so this is the miracle of deep learning, uh, showing flowers um, using ResNet 152 on Intel's latest Skylake CPU. So if we click on these, we can see these flowers. Polargonium. That's a Snapdragon. Hey, guys. Wow. <laughs> Come on. That's industry, that's industry stuff. People in the tech industry, we should go, you recognize, I, I didn't know that it was a flower. It's awesome. Fritilia, OK, blanket flower. OK, so, so now show us what it looks like on a GPU. So Ryan, this is now this is now running on NVIDIA GPUs. Okay, so this is the Vol this is Volta, right? Yep. This is, this is one. This is what? Hey guys, yeah, that's right. The more you buy, the more you save. Okay, <clears throat> check this out, Ryan. So this is one GPU. One GPU. This is one GPU. Exact same network. This is one GPU. Yep. That's nuts. This is one GPU. How are we going to make a living if this is one GPU? So this is one GPU. Okay, and so su suppose. Okay, well, let's Kubernetes this thing. Yep, we got it running in Kubernetes. So imagine like our app gets so popular, everyone wants to know about flowers, and we get a larger load. So we're going to scale this up. Let's look at what a larger load looks like. So, there we go. That's a larger load. So we need to handle that load. So what we do is we can ask Kubernetes to say, hey, let's make multiple replicas of that same container. And so I'm going to add eight replicas in. You're going to see them come in. And I'm going to add them into the load balancer. And as I add them in, you're going to see it just get faster. Wow. That. Guys, this is like magic. Kuber Kubernetes, Kubernetes is orchestrating this data center. And what's amazing is this. So Kubernetes assigns this pod, which is basically a service or an application that contains a whole lot of containers. OK? It could assign this pod on one GPU on many GPUs in one server, on many GPUs and many servers. It can also assign it across data centers. So you could have some of it in the cloud and some of it in data center. You could have some of it in this cloud, some of it in that cloud. Truly amazing. And all of this stuff is happening 
completely invisibly because we've made Kubernetes GPU aware and because the NVIDIA architecture and all those containers are literally everywhere. And so as a result, this magic could happen because the foundation we've been layering and we've been growing now for several years is now come together. And this, this moment, the Kubernetes moment, <laughs> pulled it all together. Ryan, what else you got for us? So that, as you said, not only can we run it in our local on-prem data center, but we can scale and we can burst into the cloud. So let's take a look at that right now. So I'm going so to Saturn Five is at the NVIDIA, it's it, our NVIDIA data center. It's our supercomputer. There are 660 DGXs in Saturn Five today. So 660 petaflops. It's about to get upgraded, as you can imagine. It's going to get exciting. So I'm going to add four and more from the cloud. So we're, this is going to be an example of cloud bursting or you know, cl cloud fallover. So here we've, got, we've turned on four in the cloud. They, they're active. And what I'm going to do now is show you self-healing. So I'm going to kill off four of these GPUs uh, that are running right now on Saturn V. And what you're going to see, and you're going to have to watch really closely, is we're going to take a bit of a performance hit. And then those AWS GPUs are going to jump right in, and the performance is going to come back up. Ready? There they go down. And you, you didn't even see it this time. Sometimes it's that fast. <laughs> wow, that's an incredibly good demo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wow. this is a demo of resilience. A demo of resilience where before and after is exactly the same. I bet you really enjoyed that. You, we don't have to show it again because guess what, guys? It looks exactly the same. Okay? The, a demonstration of resilience. And this is one of, the, one of the most amazing things about modern hyperscale computing. And we now have cloud to cloud. We have any cloud. We have cloud to prem. We have any prem. And so the NVIDIA architecture all of these frameworks, all GPU accelerated, is now possible, orchestrated under Kubernetes so that it can basically run everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan. So, the NVIDIA Kubernetes on NVIDIA GPUs. <laughs>